Hey guys, super quick one take. I'm so sorry it's up late. I've been gone all day and I know it's already almost 9 o'clock. Ah! But it is New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve to you. I want to do another video that I might post tomorrow, but it will take a while to actually do the video and then post it. So bear with me. But Happy New Year's Eve to you. I have some questions like I did for Christmas Eve, but now I want to answer them for New Year's Eve. So Happy New Year's Eve to you. Stay safe. Have fun. But yeah. Okay, question one. What was the single best thing that ever happened to you in this past year? I don't really have time to think, but the first thing that came to mind was me um, going to Warp Tour and meeting Charles Trippy and so many other YouTubers and it was amazing and just enjoying myself and just being able to talk to Charles and it was very amazing. I don't know if it's the single hand most ha best thing, but it was amazing. Okay, question two. What was the single most challenging that happened to you? When I had to sit out a semester of college, um, I guess technically that was 2013 um, because the new semester that I jumped into was January 2013, or 14, sorry. I've, it's a long day and I'm trying to hurry up so me and my best friend can watch a movie before the ball drops. But um, yeah, I think sitting out that semester was the most challenging thing for me. Okay, three. What unexpected joy... What was an unexpected joy this past year? Um, unexpected? Getting back into poetry more than I even thought I would. It was a goal of mine for 2014 to get back in poetry, but oh my gosh, I exceeded my goal. And I hope to continue and continue with poetry. So that, that was unexpected, but amazing. Five, pick three words that described 2014. This is 2010, but you know, I'm changing it. Um, adventure, eh, no, <laughs> I don't really have time to think, exciting, new, I don't know, I did a lot this year, <laughs> I really don't know, and I'm sorry for that, okay, question six, pick three words, oh, I don't like that one, I meant to mark that out, um, let's see, See, these are some silly ones. What were the best books you read this year? I can honestly say I don't think I've read any books this year, but there's so many books I want to read. It's ridiculous. I just didn't have time because of school. I actually have Neve Shulman's book um, to read and If I Stay. So those are two books that I really want to read. Um, okay. Let's see. Nine. With who? Uh, I know I didn't already do nine, but that's what number it is on here, so bear with me. Okay, with whom were you most, your most valuable relationships? My best friend and my cousin. Um, he has become a really big part of my life this year. Okay, 10, what was your mo personal change from January to December this year? Growth. Um, I definitely have become more outspoken. Um, I shared an opinion of mine in um, psychology that would have never happened last year. Um, I read a poem to an audience that would have never happened. So growth, definitely. So that's one of my three words, growth and yeah. Okay. In what ways did you grow emotionally? That's funny. Okay, emotionally, writing. Definitely writing has helped me grow emotionally. Okay, spiritually, I've finally gotten better about, mm, I've somewhat gotten better. I make a point to pray every day and sometimes some, for some reason I don't and you know that may sound silly to some of you that aren't religious but I want to pray every day and I'm still bad about doing that but I will do better. Okay, did you grow physically? Not really much to be honest. My hair was cut and now it's growing. Okay. Um, in what ways did you grow your relationship with the, uh, with others? Again, um, as my peers, I grew a relationship with them because I actually shared an opinion and could speak out and say what I thought and felt and answer a question. If I got it wrong, so be it. So that's good. Okay, 15. What is the most enjoyable, enjoyable part of your work? working with kids. I love working with those kids and I hate that when I transfer I have to quit. Um, but for now it is the most greatest thing ever. 
Okay, what was the most challenging part of your work? Um, when one day my coworker was not there because she was sick, and then my other coworker, I have two, technically I have a lot more, but the two that I mainly work with, they were both sick, and so I had to go to the church early and plan everything for that night, and on top of that, I have more kids than normal. So that was pretty challenging. Hey, what is the single biggest time waster of your past year? YouTube, but I can't complain. What is the biggest thing you learned in this past year? That writing really does help you, you know, and I want to just keep reading, and I'm so excited for 2015. I already know some things that are going to happen, so I can't wait to find out what's going to happen unexpectedly. And look forward to a video tomorrow where I talk about my year of 2014. But as for now, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all later. And sorry again, this is up so late. It's almost 9 o'clock. Oh, I mean, I already watched this movie. But thanks for guys. Thanks for guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you all later, and see you on Friday also. So maybe you'll have three videos in a row. Yeah, I'll try to make that work. All right, talk to you all later. Bye.